Air travel has grown at 5% per annum for over 30 years. This growth has continued despite wars, 9-11, SARS, financial crisis and recessions. As a result of sustained and steady growth, air travel has doubled every 15 years and will double again in the next 15 years. Boeing forecasts the amount of commercial aircraft will double over the next 20 years, with 35,280 new commercial aircraft delivered between 2013 and 2032, worth a total of $4.8 trillion. That's 147 new aircraft per month for the next 20 years. Airbus predicts 29,200 new aircraft will be required between 2013 and 2032, worth a total of $4.4 trillion, which equates to 122 new aircraft per month for 20 years. All regions are forecast to grow. Even the mature European and American markets will continue to grow between 2 and 4%. Emerging markets are driving the growth, with 55% growth in available seat kilometres over the last five years. Traditionally, the wait for new aircraft was three to four years, but the current backlog of 11,415 aircraft at Boeing and Airbus equates to over nine years of production. The majority of the backlog belongs to Asia-Pacific. The need for new aircraft in Europe and America is still strong as they replace their ageing fleets. As the demand for aircraft increases, so does the need for aircraft finance. From $77 billion in aircraft deliveries in 2011 to $112 billion this year. An additional $528 billion is required over the next four years. As the need for aircraft increases, so does the market for leasing. From just 17 leased aircraft in 1970 to approximately 11,000 aircraft in 2014. As aircraft leasing is growing in market share towards 50%, leasing companies are required to fund more than half of the new aircraft deliveries. As a result, lessors will need to fund over half of the $528 billion required over the next four years. This year alone, it is expected lessors will source $30 billion, or 48% of their financing requirements from the capital markets, up from just 9% in 2012. Why do airlines lease? Leasing provides access to the latest technologies and fuel-efficient aircraft with a lower capital outlay compared to purchasing. Leasing provides flexibility on lease expiries to the airline, Airlines can access aircraft faster through lessors. Airlines aren't exposed to aircraft residual value risks. Almost every airline leases. For example, Emirates fleet is 43% leased. A typical lease is between 6 and 12 years with rent paid monthly in advance. Security deposits are paid by the airline on lease commencement. Lease agreements require the operator to pay for everything. All expenses including maintenance, insurance, delivery and redelivery are paid by the lessee. With such strong demand for commercial aircraft and growing demand for leasing, aircraft are proven to be good investments. Why invest in aircraft? Our product is in demand in almost every airline leases. It efficiently deploys large amounts of capital. Aircraft provide stable cash flow backed by long-term contracts with predictable long-term returns. Aviation is a highly regulated industry protecting the asset. Assets are secured through international laws and treaties. Aircraft are truly global and mobile assets with low volatility compared to listed equities. Aircraft are a vital part of infrastructure in the global economy. Aircraft backed investments are growing in popularity. Here are some recent investors. It shows the diversity and the appeal aircraft as investments have, attracting governments, insurance companies, private equity, investment companies, pension funds, including Australian superannuation funds. Aircraft leasing is a stable investment. We have a highly experienced management team. Our costs are fixed. Our returns are stable and locked in long term. Our future asset values are predictable and our product is in demand. Visit www.capitalaviation.net to find out more.